Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'd like to compare the new Intel Core i5 4670K Haswell CPU running at stock speeds with the AMD FX ED350 at stock as well as at 4.8 GHz. I know some of you might say that's unfair. Yes, I have to agree with you. It actually is unfair. The AMD FX ED350 should not be compared against the new Intel Haswell CPUs, but against the now previous generation Ivy Bridge CPUs. But I already did that. But let's look at it this way. People that are looking for a new CPU usually will go for the latest technology. In this case, if they consider buying a Core i5 processor, they will not go for the i5-2500K or the i5-3570K in most cases they will fancy the new i5-4670K. But AMD still offers the FX8350 as their previous flagship model. I have to apologize, I couldn't afford buying the new FX9590 or 9370. Therefore Intel is more expensive and AMD gets the price bonus. It's a lot cheaper, so it definitely can perform a lot worse. Always keep the price in mind. But enough talking, let's move on to the benchmarks. So there you have it. Both processors are great, that's for sure. The decision however isn't that easy anymore. When it comes to performance in synthetic tests or heavy workloads, the FX8350 at stock beats the Intel i5 4670K at stock in most cases. The price performance ratio crown goes to AMD in this case as well. The FX8350 costs less and performs better when it comes to rendering and all that demanding stuff. So from this aspect, there's really no doubt about which processor to get. When looking at the game benchmarks though, the decision is not that easy. In many cases the FX8350 definitely is able to keep up against the i5 4670K. But there are some games out there like Batman Arkham City and Far Cry 3 that make the effects perform worse overall. The overclock of 4.8 GHz definitely helps with boosting the frame rate, but still it can't completely keep up against Intel's i5-4670K. As for the temperatures, the FX8350 without any doubt is the winner here. At stock speeds the i5 
4670K with the Corsair H100i water cooler ran at 69 degrees Celsius. The FX8350 at stock with the Cooler Master V6 GT air cooler, keep that in mind, this is an air cooler, I had no other possibility, the 8350 runs at 40 degrees Celsius. When overclocked to 4.8 GHz that are only 54 degrees Celsius. So when it comes to the temperatures, AMD's FX processors are really the way to go. Power consumption wise there is a difference, but Intel's power consumption of their Haswell CPUs worsened and therefore the power consumption is not that big of a concern here anymore. The difference on full load are 52 watts when comparing stock FX versus stock i5. When overclocking the FX to 4.8 GHz, it quickly consumes 140 watts more than the i5 4670K. So overall, the FX 8350 at stock does very well compared to the i5 4670K. In most applications, the FX 8350 at stock is the winner. And when it comes to games, the i5 4670K does better overall. Overclocking the FX to 4.8 GHz increases the frame rate but then you have to live with a much higher power consumption. Again, I know, it's a little bit unfair to compare these two processors against each other, but a lot of people asked for this video. So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say here and I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas 11 x 12 techxcom to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.